how to create an app without any coding or programming skills hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can make your own app without having the need to code or program anything so having said that let's just jump into the video now i'm on this website called appypy.com it's basically an app builder where you can just simply create the application without having any coding whatsoever so let's get started so over here as you can see i'm on their website called epipie.com and over here we're just simply going to click on join to you know log in or you can simply click on get started to get started and create an app so if you click on get started it's going to take you over here to the app maker where you just simply have to enter in the business name so now you can change it later so you don't have to worry about it so you can just write anything you want over here and simply click on next and then they basically ask you what category does your business fall into so i, I have radio podcasts you know educations others dating health and wealth so let's go ahead and choose that health and wellness and then over here they're basically going to ask you a theme so choose a theme that you want really simple you know uh, I'm just simply going to go ahead with carbon mist and you then you have to choose which device to test your app on. So right now, let's go ahead and select Android, save and continue. And now it's going to build up and create an account. So now, as I said, you have to now create an account to actually view the application. So let's go ahead and do that. You can sign up with, you know, either your email address or you can sign up with these, you know, applications such as Google, Facebook, uh, Microsoft, LinkedIn, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up and I'll catch you guys in a second. And once you have created an account, this is how it's going to look like. This is your application over here. You have your buttons, you have your list, you have diamond. This is basically the layout of your application. You can choose whichever one you want. You even have a fixed metrics over here and the images and you even have 3D slice as well. So for now, I'm simply going to go ahead and choose the normal version, such as the buttons over here. For now, I'm going to choose that. Click on that. We're going to see over here on the right side, we have the preview of the application over here. So now exercise, please add some exercises, right? So over here, we have these buttons over here. We have our workout. We have our exercise, diet plans, BMR calculator, workout, and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and click on exercises. There are no exercises so let's go ahead and do that actually down below we have our other options click on start workout and that's how you, it basically looks like click on the list this is how it looks like we click on diamond then we have a different view then we have a color list as well but not really much you know is changing over here which is weird and it should but i guess we'll choose this one i guess you know a uh, list over here and then once you have that you can go ahead and change some other things and once that's done just simply click on save and continue and you will be good to go now this is a pretty basic app builder nothing really you know too fancy and pretty much overall not a good experience so if you want to use appy pie maker to build a standard application with nothing too fancy in it nothing really good just you know to get the functionality to the point straight to the point type of application then you can use appy pie but if you're you know trying to look for something else then what i would suggest is going over to this website called glideapps.com now this is a pretty amazing website where you can create amazing looking apps as well and they're really really good and really really fast so let's go ahead and try this one out as well so simply add in your email address over here and simply click on get started now once it's going now once you have added your email it's going to sign you in and this is what it's going to look like so this is going to be your dashboard over here you just simply fill out this form right here with your first name last name and stuff like that simply click on continue accept and continue and you are now good to go so over here you have a bunch of different options you have your applications over here discover glide pages over here and start for a classic template so if you want to you know start from a classic template then you can go ahead and you know view all the templates over here or you know if you want to discover other pages you can go ahead and do that or you can go ahead and start to create an app from scratch so first let's go ahead and view some templates and over here we have a bunch of different templates over here to choose from and we also want glide apps over here this is basically all the templates for applications as you can see pretty amazing really cool and let's go ahead and try to find one so let's go ahead and try to find like a fitness type of application right so i think over here at the top i saw one where is it like over here like crossfit gym so if we click over here 
this is going to be the application over here and this is going to be the template and we can preview the template as well so let's go ahead and take a look at it wait a couple of seconds for the template to load up and once it's loaded up this is how it looks like so over here as you can see we have uh the names over here we have you know wod we have our coaches down below events over here information chat room over here as well so if we come over here we have our exercises so if you click on this exercise it's going to show us the exercise what it is you know 100 dumbbell under between each rounds be sure to break up the set you're going to add your comments over here it's pretty nice box jump up slow over here we have all of it so box jump ups three by 24 like pretty amazing all the information are going to be over here we have our coaches over here if we click on the coach we got all the you know uh information on that person on that coach so i think it looks pretty nice so let's go ahead and you know try to copy this template wait for a couple of seconds for the template to load up and boom here we go so now we have our application over here it's going to copy this template sign in with google sheets and once you've copied the template, it's going to open up the template in your account where you can go ahead and start editing it. So over here, as you can see, this is the editor. We have our tabs over here on the left side. Then we have our menu. We have our screen over here. And over here on the left side, we have other sources such as, uh, you know, Google source where we have all of our sheets over here for workouts. We have our labels. We have the style over here so we can get a list style. We can get a tiles. You know styles as well maps checklist you know or cards as well or even swipe as well so and then we have a detail i think it looks nice but i think a list would be much better or cards as well so let's go ahead and click on options and then we have some other options as well for now we're going to stick over here then we have the tab icon over here and we can go ahead and change the icon for the tabs so let's go ahead and search for an icon let's go ahead and search for tab if we have one over here we have some you know options over here for the tab let's go ahead and try to see which image would look best or maybe we can just put a home image over here as well and then we can go ahead and edit card list over here we have our photos all right and then we have our header over here we have our tiles text size we can go ahead and change the text styles as well so actually i'm going to go with a smaller text size actually i'm going to keep it like that and then we also have the images over here and image shapes and sizes of it as well so we can half the size you know or we can go with a car style float or we can go with outline or we can go with the non-outline you now we have our orientation we can keep it vertical or horizontal we have our corners over here we want to keep it sharp corners we can keep it rounded we have our you know textile over here if you want we can add like a see all type of option as well then once that's done we are good to go then we also have the chat option over here you can edit out pretty much individually everything over here so right now it's tiles then this is list we can edit the list as well then over here you know we can edit it out I'm going to keep it for this one for now and once that's done we are good to go and once you've edited just simply click on publish and you can publish your app over here and then what you can do is you can go ahead and send this application to your phone and create it and install it and see how it works so over here you can you know you have your app link over here you can change it to whatever you want just be sure that it is available then you have your number over here you can add in your number and send the app over here or you can scan it with your phone to you know download the app it all depends on you and once that's done boom you are good to go so that's how you create an app without any coding without any programming necessary so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comment sections down below which app you will be using which application or website you will be using to create your own personal apps and what kind of apps they are going to be so if you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful then leave a like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye